How many of you remember the movie Angels and Demons? If you haven't seen that movie, it's okay. In the movie, Tom Hanks plays the role of a symbologist, and his expertise is called into action because in the movie, the Illuminati has reemerged and has stolen one fourth of a gram of antimatter from CERN, and they have hidden it in the Vatican City with a plot to destroy the Vatican. Now, several years ago, I mentioned in one of my older videos about CERN that they have, at some point in time, transported antimatter to different locations and doing so has some anomalous effects on the surrounding area, such as causing people in those areas to lose their minds. I'm not going to get into the details of that, but back then, CERN claims they did not have the ability to do such a thing. And that canister of antimatter that is used in the movie Angels and Demons was just science fiction. It was just a movie, right? Well, the most dangerous delivery truck. How a lorry load of antimatter will help solve secrets of universe. Fantastically expensive and hard to handle, the substance holds the key to a holy grail of science, and experts at CERN now know how to transport it. Researchers are preparing to make one of science's most unusual journeys. They are planning to transport a container of antimatter in a lorry across Europe. A lorry is just a fancy name for a truck or van. And you're probably thinking in your head, what? Are they crazy? Well, yes they are. In a mad scientist sort of way. They are crazy in the same way the people responsible for creating the atomic bomb were crazy, you see? Now one of the things that I have mentioned about the scientific community, or at least how the media tells the story, Whenever they say they are doing something for the first time and put emphasis on it being the first time, they've probably done it already, but they just didn't tell you about it. So we're going to be taking a brief look at what's going on over there and why they are doing this. Because before, based on the movie Angels and Demons, person could correctly assume that no one could ever steal antimatter. Well, they can now. Okay, folks, let's get into this. Antimatter is the most expensive material on Earth. It's estimated it would cost several trillion dollars to make a gram, and it can only be manufactured in particle physics laboratories such as the CERN Research Center in near Geneva. So one thing here, just to let you guys know, when they say several trillion dollars, according to Echo News, we're talking about $62.5 trillion per gram. It is also extremely tricky to handle. If antimatter makes contact with normal matter, both are annihilated, releasing a powerful burst of electromagnetic radiation. Only by carefully combining sets of powerful electrical and magnetic fields and special devices can antimatter be stored safely. So, just to expand on this a bit more, the annihilation of antimatter occurs when a particle of antimatter comes in direct contact with its corresponding particle of regular matter. When this happens, the two particles, such as a proton and an antiproton, or an electron and a positron, completely annihilate each other and their mass is converted into energy according to Einstein's equation E equals mc squared. 
it releases a lot of energy in the form of gamma rays and other particle antiparticle pairs depending on the particles that are interacting with each other for example when an electron and a positron annihilate they usually produce two gamma ray photons when you have more massive particles like protons and antiprotons the annihilation may produce a variety of particles such as pions which decay even further the energy release just to put this into perspective if someone had one-fourth of a gram of antimatter to use for an explosion in the movie angels and demons it would produce a five kiloton explosion but see the movie didn't take into account the regular matter so it would in real life produce a 10 kiloton explosion which is more than enough to wipe out Vatican City and then some. So let's see what else the article says here. That makes moving it around very difficult, though we are now close to making our first journey, said Professor Stefan Ulmer, a scientist at CERN. Antimatter has so much to tell us, that is why we are doing this. Moving the antimatter will be a scientific first. Here's that word again. Though it has a fictional precursor in Dan Brown's thriller Angels and Demons made into a film starring Tom Hanks in 2009, terrorists steal a canister of antimatter from CERN and try to obliterate the Vatican with it. The prospect of a similar blast happening in real life is remote, scientists insist. The quantities of antimatter carried will be insufficient to make an explosion of any recognizable nature now one thing you have to keep in mind folks is that CERN is not going to tell us every single thing they are just going to tell us enough they didn't even have to tell us they're transporting this stuff well the media is telling us and right now they only plan to transport the stuff within the CERN campus but later on they want to be able to transport it to a facility that is about 600 to 700 kilometers away from CERN. The question is, why is this news? Why is transporting antimatter something that anyone would care about if you didn't point it out to them? Now, people's attention is going to be drawn to this. So let's take a look at the reason why they are doing this. Matter is made up of subatomic particles such as protons and electrons, while antimatter consists of particles that include antiprotons and positrons, as anti-electrons are also known. A key source of the latter type of particle is based at CERN in a device known as the antiproton decelerator, where antiprotons are generated, collected, and studied. The aim is to measure precisely the properties of antiprotons and compare them with protons known as the base experiment. It could reveal tiny hidden differences that would explain why matter has thrived at the expense of antimatter. Background magnetic fields near the device are limiting this work, and scientists want to transport samples to other labs. By moving them to a new location, we can make measurements that are 100 times more accurate and get a deeper understanding of antiprotons, said Ulmer. Okay, so to put it simply, they want to be able to study antimatter in a more controlled environment. And I get it. But something about this whole thing just doesn't feel right. To achieve this goal, CERN scientists have built transportable devices containing superconducting magnets, cryogenic cooling systems, and vacuum chambers where antiprotons can be trapped, avoiding contact with normal matter, and carried on 7-ton lorries. Initially, antiprotons will be transported within CERN. Over the next year, containers will be moved further afield to a dedicated precision lab at the Heinrich Hein University in Dusseldorf. In the long term, we want to transport it to any lab in Europe, said Christian Smora, leader of the transport project. In this way, scientists hope to find why antimatter all but vanished from the universe. This could be a game changer, said Ulmer. 
So this stuff is all good for the public to understand, but sometimes when it comes to this type of science, particle physics, they don't expect you and I to examine their terminology closely. So I'm going to give you an example of how sometimes what they say doesn't really mean what they say. For example, the term annihilation. In our minds, antimatter comes in contact with matter and the two are annihilated or destroy each other, creating this massive release of energy. And that sounds like it makes sense, except that's not what annihilation truly means. In 1949, there was a scientist named Richard Feynman who wrote about this. He implied that there is no true annihilation or creation of particles in the traditional sense. Instead, the process can be viewed as a change in the direction of time for the particles. He describes this annihilation as a transition of the particles trajectory rather than the literal destruction of matter. So when an electron and positron annihilate each other, it's the same as reversing their journey through time. In the standard view of time, which we think of as always moving from the past to the future, in Feynman's view, particles don't just move forward through time, but can also travel backward, depending on how they interact with things like light. This means time isn't a straight path. It's more flexible, and particles can move both toward the future and the past. Now, the reason I find this interesting is because once they figure this out, believe it or not, they can take antimatter and use it in quantum computers, effectively enhancing that computer to a level we could barely comprehend. And since they are able to transport this stuff to labs that study computer systems like this, well, that will be a game changer, especially once they integrate AI. Then we're going to have an AI system that can think faster than lightning in both the past and future simultaneously, if that makes any sense. Well, that will have to be a topic for another day. So... I'm just going to let you digest this, think about it, and we can talk about that at another time. So that's going to be all for now while people are busy with the UFO drones over multiple cities now becoming a real life Independence Day. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this presentation and subscribe so you don't miss any videos that I upload in the future. Check out my other links in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram at Jay Woodward. Everyone have a great day or evening or whatever part of space time you're in. And as always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials Pure Body Extra Colloidal Zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of Zeolite today because now is the time to live your best life.